the first time you install a game with Forbes on your computer, I would actually recommend you play the tutorial, because there's a lot of things in the game that are that could be hard to understand for a new player. You need to understand, like, how do I get food to my settlement? Why does my dwarves die after a while? So, playing the tutorial is a very good first step if you want to be successful at the game. When you start a custom game, you should first and foremost make sure to have a food supply. So, it's quite easy to find some fertile soil to plant some crops on and get a basic food economy going. Then I'd probably make sure to have at least three or four military guys uh, leveled up a bit so so I can take on the first attack of, an, of a stronger enemy. Uh, and that's the first step. Then I'd go on exploring with my diggers and to find more resources to be able to supply myself with the resources I need to grow more food and have more dwarves and to really expand my settlement and build better stuff. After you have a basic settlement uh, sorted out, uh, it kind of it's it's up to the player how you want to advance. A very aggressive player might go di directly to the if it's a campaign level to the goal to just defeat the boss or to find whatever he's supposed to find. While a more defensive player might focus on research. He, research he'll buy a scholar and a uh, working a research table, and then he'll use those to get the research point needed to really evolve the tech tree in the game and get some uh, some really really strong buffs for his uh, settlement. Once you've decided whether you're going to try to complete a level or if you're going to just try to build something nice or if you have a surplus of resources or if you need some extra happiness then the player can start building stuff that he needs and that he wants. And that's the time where most beginning, most new players will most likely place a couple of floors on the grounds and uh, build some nice uh, furniture and that'll be, that'll be it. Uh, but once you start experimenting with the multiple level, levels, uh, since you can build both, dig up and down, a good player will even create a settlement where everything is very very efficient so the dwarves don't have to walk that far from the place they're working on to their bed to their food table.